Okay, Pinto buddy, this one's for you. I saw the other night where you got sent a uh, paracord bracelet and said you, you know, thought you might need to uh, learn how to make one of these. Well, this is a simple little jig that I, you know, got off YouTube somewhere. I can't remember where. You know, somebody else's design, not mine. But uh, I've included a couple of pictures at the end of this video so you could get the dimensions and kind of get a feel for how to make it if you want to make one you know and the actual making of the paracord bracelet you know you've got your your clasps here and here male and female on each end I, I use this because it just makes it easier to hold everything you don't have to uh, hold it all in your hands it, it just keeps everything a lot easier to work with but uh, how it actually works is you basically thread it down here I'm actually using two uh, different colors just for demonstration purposes for you so you can uh, see easier how it is to uh, braid this back and forth you know one color gets kind of confusing so two colors plus you know this one's gonna be my new one my other one kind of got real filthy so time to get a new one all right Pinto just sit back relax and hopefully you'll enjoy first you string it through the end down here bring it up bring it down through and get your two cords one on each side you just basically take them and tie an overhand knot just about like so now depending on which one you want to uh, follow the outside and which one you want to follow on the inside depends on which one you start off first whichever one you decide to go down through the middle that's the one that's going to be your tag in that's the one you're going to use to make most all of your knots so I I want the desert camo to go down through the middle so what I'm going to do is you just loop it over like so take your black one go under stay under come back up through pull the whole thing through once you've got that established you just cinch it down now that we know which way it's gonna flow you'll always take this one and this one will always come over so this one will always go under and through the hole I'll do a couple of these so you can get the hang of it and then I'll kind of cut out and uh, come back to you later with a little bit further progress but as you can see just the camouflage goes over the black goes under pull it through camouflage over black under black through pull it all the way through if you're using one color it kind of until you do a few of these can get confusing and you'll forget where you're at using two colors helps you know tell you which <laughs> which one goes over which one goes over here's a few of them done now this one's considered just a standard straight cobra stitch single one most of your women and some of the guys like these but this bracelet's actually going to be the double cobra stitch. When I get all the way to the end, I'll turn the board around and reverse it and go back the other direction. That way it'll make it wider and thicker. So for right now, I'm going to kind of pause it and uh, I'll get back to you in a little while with a little bit further down the road. okay guys now that we've gotten all the way to the end I take it all the way to the class now what I'll do is I'll take my board my jig and I'll turn it around
to where we can finish up the double part of it. And what I do is I'll unhook this. And I take both ends, stick them back through, just like as if you were first starting off. Rascal's not wanting to go in there today. Not wanting to cooperate. There we go. Just pull it all the way through. Take this one, slide your cord out, your bracelet over. Take this one the same way. Pull it through. Hook her back up. All right. Once you have them through, you start it off just like you did before. Take and tie your knot on the top. And I want to continue with that same pattern. So what I'll do is just start right back off the same way. Black's always going underneath and through the hole. Okay, guys. Now, rule of thumb on paracord bracelets is it's usually a foot of cord per inch of uh, bracelet. So if it's a 9 inch bracelet, it's going to take you 9 feet of paracord If on a single cobra. If it's the double cobra, it's going to take you 18. And I always go a little bit extra, so I'll do each strand of this instead of going nine and nine. I'll go ten and ten because you've got to allow for the inside core, and then it gives you a little bit extra play with at the end of it. If you do happen to make a mistake and you forget which way you're going with this, it's real easy to just pull the knots out and uh, retrace, retrace your steps. I mean, it just all you gotta do is just pull them, and they just unweave all the way till you get to where you messed up and just fix it and carry on so I think you got the pretty good hang of it so far so I'm gonna you know pause this till I get down to the end and then I'll show you how to finish the end up okay guys okay guys there you have it your finished paracord only thing we have left to do is tie off the ends, snip them and sear them, and we're done. So let's just take the paracord and bracelet off. Just snip it right off with your scissors. Take your lighter. Give it a good searing. Mash it down. By mashing it down like that, it uh, kind of locks it into the rest of that uh, 
paracord doesn't let it come out anyhow that's the uh, typical double cobra bracelet there and that's how she looks Now guys, here's just uh, a few other things that you can, you know, do with this paracord, you know. I know you guys have seen these. These things aren't anything new, but here's a, a little keychain. Uh, here's some more keychains. I know, Pinto, you like to uh, put lanyards on your knives. That could easily be made into a lanyard. All you do is you leave your string a little bit longer. Dog collars, all of my dogs have these for dog collars. Uh, they're strong uh, none of my dogs have ever gotten loose wearing one of these and uh, that's about it if you guys have any questions or comments you know place them below if you need to know anything or would like to know anything that I haven't covered in this uh, feel free to ask uh, there's a, a plenty plenty of uh, videos out there showing guys how to do this you know, I just figured I'd pop this up there, put my two cents in on it. Uh, Pinto, I hope you uh, got something from it. If you didn't, well, you know, good luck finding it. <laughs> and uh, anybody needs to know anything, just please ask. Coop out.